Hello, this is Bishop Garland Hunt, and this is the Power of Hope devotional. And listen, welcome back. I know some of you say that you follow me. I hear many of you say that you've seen some of my uh, devotionals and you never respond. Please, if you never respond, let this be the first time you respond. Just at least sit, write a comment. Hey, been looking at you. Enjoy what you've done. I don't, I don't know. Well, you think this embarrassing to do it or maybe you don't want to share it with your people. Yeah, if you see it on Facebook, share it. Or, or at least hit a like there. Maybe you can you can share it even a post if you see it on LinkedIn. But, but at least let me know you're there. Now I want to ask you. Let me tell you what I what I told my church a few weeks ago. I told them that this house is on fire. I said to them that this house is on fire. Now why would I say that? Because you know if a person is in a uh, public place and they say fire, and it's no fire, actually he can be arrested. Did you know that? It's because it's a public threat. It's a threat to safety. If you declare a fire and there's really no fire, so that that, that could be a problem. So so what I'm saying to you is that when when you say this house is on fire, it needs to really be a fire. Now, secondly, I said it was house on fire because I do believe that God uses fire to deal with us and deal with our intentions, our motives. Because the church house is one thing. But I'm saying that he's using fire to burn out that which is in, in us. It's like the passion of the Lord said, the, 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 the love of Christ burns in our hearts. We talked about burning. It's in there. So, so listen to me. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, it, it just talks about the fire. It says, who anyone who builds on that foundation may use a variety of materials. So this is the foundation that's built. You know, when you, when you do it with a, um, a building or a house. It has to have a firm foundation. It's got to have a good foundation for you know us for it to um to to, to prosper and, and you build on it. So so the foundations often it be cracks in the wall, all kind of it throw everything off. It, it, the foundation is not it's not firm, but the, found, the foundation's off. So anyway, here it says so so anyone that builds on that foundation, they can use a variety of materials, and they can use gold, silver, jewels, hay, wood, or, or straw. And, and, and so you have those different things that you can use. Now, understand this. This is very, very important to understand that nowadays, man, you can you, you can have a, a contractor. They're they going to cut corners because you know that sometimes everything isn't even. Sometimes they, the, the, the plywood they use is it used to be a strong two by four. But 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 it's not it's not nearly as strong as it is. It's almost like ply, the plywood or something that's very, 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 very um vulnerable for breaking. And so so everything's everything just seem to be very cheaply made depending on where where you are and what the 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 uh, inspections that of those contractors may be. But let's go on further. So it says but on judgment day fire will reveal what kind of work each builder has done. I wish, man, I was some of y'all that, that have had some bad experiences with with contractors. You may say, man, we, we need some fire to put behind some of these contractors. But then it says, the fire will show if a person's work has any value. It's going to show if this person's work has it. And if the work survives, survives what? The, fact, the value. It says the builder will receive a reward. But if the work is burned up, the builder will suffer great loss. The builder will suffer great loss and the builder will be saved but it's like someone barely escaping through a wall of flames. You know, it talks about, listen, a wall of flames. In other words, you barely going to make it in because you didn't use, you didn't build on the foundation correctly. And I want to just say this. I don't believe that we as believers, because we are the builders. Look, look at yourself. Say, I'm a builder. I, I, I am a builder. So, so you are the builder. So you are making a decision how you're building on the foundation of Christ in your own life. And I'm talking to Christians right now. If you're a Christian, you're the foundation of Christ, but how you're building. So if you're building on things that are sinful, things that are not right, things that are wrong motives, that is greed, it's pride, all the things that the Lord says be mindful of, then as a result of that, you're building on a Christian foundation, but everything in there that you have offered to the Lord may burn. So if you don't have gold, silver, and jewels, and, and yet you're dealing with wood, hay, a stubble, or straw, 
then in the end, it's going to be burned up. And you might barely make it, but it's almost like somebody that barely made it through a wall of flames because the fire is hot. The fire will burn up everything that you offer to him that's not of God. So listen to me. The house is on fire. This house is on fire. There's one more time, but I, I, that the Lord, you can look this on your personal. First Peter 1, 3 through 7. Look at that also. It will show to you the house is on fire. This is Bishop Garland Hunt. This is the Power of Hope devotional. I'll talk to you next time.